All this month, get any smartphone 32 gig and under for 50% off regular price at Appalachian Wireless. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. While supplies last, two-year agreement required. Another day, another meeting of the Letcher County Fiscal Court, the third this week, as the court continues to discuss how to deal with the projected $1.3 million budget shortfall. Friday's meeting acted largely as a prelude to another meeting of the court scheduled for Monday. As suggested by county officials during Friday's meeting, the court will consider raising court costs to assist with maintenance on the county's courthouse, and they will again consider selling property, including the less than decade-old Letcher County Recreational Center. Magistrate Terry Adams, who suggested the rec center be put up for sale, said the center is breaking the county's budget. If you put that on the agenda, you might as well put the rec center on the agenda. If you're going to sell property, you might as well sell it off. We can sell the rec center. I think that's the biggest cash drain in the county. The rec center payments do not come out of the county budget. Yeah, they come out of code savings. From the, not only the payment to the upkeep and uh, maintenance and salaries, and you know we just can't afford it right now. If we cannot get rid of some of our debt, namely the rec center, um, I believe substantial cuts will be coming. The sale of property was again acknowledged as only a temporary solution, and Judge Executive Jim Ward said new revenue sources must be found or cuts will have to be made. Items carried over from previous meetings, including the consideration of an insurance premium tax, were also discussed, but several magistrates said they would not vote for the tax and are unlikely to change course on the matter. Ward said the court could consider a property tax increase, but the tax rate would have to increase to between 20 and 25 percent in order to plug the projected hole in the budget. With more budget discussions left to be had, Monday's court meeting is scheduled for 10 a.m. Reporting in Whitesburg for EKB News, I'm Chris Anderson.